So there's one more feature which we would expect to see in a list of things, and that is to be able to sort. So I want to be able to sort this table by the name and the email and sort both ascending and descending. So to do that, there's actually, as you might guess, a shortcut in Angular. So let's head into our code and where I want to go to is our ng repeat, which is down here at the bottom. Okay, so we have yet another filter to show you. So this one is called order by. So what this would do is it would take the person's array after it has been passed through the filter that we've created with the sensitive search function and then it's going to order that array using some functionality now you can pass to order by a string and we're going to put in that string email so what this is going to do is is for every person that, that it gets passed it's going to sort that array by the email of the person so let's just go into our browser and check this out there you go so you can see the email is now being sorted by uh, alphabetically sorted but what if we want to sort the list of data by the email but in descending order well that's quite simple as well we just go back into our html and instead of just email i'm going to type minus email so if the order by function sees a minus at the front of it, it's gonna know to order it in the opposite, in the reverse format, in the descending format. So let's go back into our browser, refresh, and there you go. Now we are sorting in reverse format. Well, how can we take advantage of this? Well, I want to add at the top, to begin with, just a select box, which I can then just click just to sort the columns by the name and the email in ascending and descending. So let's just go back into HTML and add that in. As you might guess, again, I'm just going to copy and paste some code. Let's go to the top. And we want to place it here. So this is just a select box with name ascending, name descending, email ascending, and email descending, but with the values that are appropriate for the order field. Uh, for the parameter to the order function, I mean. And I'm also going to add in here, I'm going to attach this to an ng model of order. And I just want to add this in to our code. Top. So let me add it just under the search field scope.order. And what order do I want it to begin with? Well, Let's just start off with email. And finally, we actually need the order by function to take as input the order scope variable. So let's go back into HTML and go to our order by function. And instead of minus email, I want to pass it the order. Okay, so let's go into the Chrome refresh. And there you go. So you can see initially the select box has already selected the right value because we've bootstrapped the scope with saying we just want to sort by email and the table is already sorted by email. And then all it takes to change the sort ordering is just to change the value in the select box. How simple is that? But let's make it a little bit more complicated. So I also want the user to be able to just click an up and down arrow on the table header row just to be able to sort from there as well again pretty simple hopefully so let's go into our html and let's go into our table header area oh there it is and here just after the name i just want to add some icons so i am going to add initially an up arrow And I'm also going to add a down arrow. And I'll also add to this an ng click, which I'm going to say. So when we click the up arrow for name, I want to set the order variable to name. And I also want to set, when I click the down arrow, I want to set the order to minus name 
and let's just copy and paste that for the email as well and let's change it from order email and then email there again so let's take a look at what this looks like so here we go so if I just click the name up arrow we are sorting the names in ascending order but again you can see the select box updated all by itself with that beautiful data binding that we have in angular js and if i click the down arrow we sort descending and again the select box updates and the same goes for the email